Recent results from a major Canadian-led study have been released, and doctors say they now have a new weapon when it comes to fighting heart disease. Global's Megan Craig gets to the heart of the matter in this week's Focus on Health report. Every two seconds, someone dies of cardiovascular disease. There is one heart attack every five seconds and one stroke every six seconds worldwide. It's a, a serious problem. Um, heart attacks are the number one killer. Strokes are the uh, leading cause of adult disability, not just in Saskatchewan, but across the country. So, And the rates are growing. Uh, the ages are getting lower. And with the high prevalence of risk factors, even in very young children now, we see the problem just um, getting worse rather than better. There are risk factors that you can modify, treat or control, like high blood pressure or high cholesterol. It's so very, very basic. Um, and and I think maybe that's why it's so overlooked. There's just some very cardinal things, and that is having a healthy weight and a healthy waist size. We're really stressing waist size now. New research now shows by taking a common blood pressure medication, high-risk patients can reduce their risk of cardiovascular death, heart attack, and stroke. For five and a half years, more than 25,000 high-risk patients worldwide participated in the study including 2,500 Canadians, some of those Saskatchewan patients. The findings, a drug called Micartis, delivered cardiovascular health benefits far beyond controlling blood pressure. This, in my opinion, is a major uh, advance because now we can use a drug which is better tolerated. And Ramipril, in my opinion, is no more the only drug on a pedestal to prevent these heart attacks and strokes in the high-risk group. Medical professionals point out that because patients are on these drugs long term, the less side effects, the better. If somebody's already on Ramipril and doing well, whether we should pull them off and put this? No, definitely not. But if you ask me whether I would use this as number one over Ramipril in this group of patients, yes, I would. Megan Craig, Global News. Focus on Health is brought to you by